Hello and welcome back to Auto MVP Reviews, your destination not only for cutting-edge vehicles but also for game-changing technologies that push the boundaries of speed, power, and engineering excellence. Today, we're diving into a different kind of beast, not one that rolls on wheels, but one that rides the edge of Earth's atmosphere at hypersonic speeds. Meet the AGM 183 AARRW, a missile so fast, so advanced, it's redefining the way the US military thinks about future warfare. So buckle in as we explore this breakthrough hypersonic weapon that feels like it belongs in a sci-fi movie but is very real and already flying high. The AGM-183A Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon, commonly called ARRW pronounced, Aero, is a hypersonic glide vehicle developed by Lockheed Martin for the US Air Force. It's been under development since around 2018 and is designed to be launched from high-speed aircraft like the B-52 Stratofortress. Once released, the missile quickly accelerates to more than five times the speed of sound, that's over 6,000 km per hour, thanks to a powerful rocket booster. After separating from the booster, the glide body continues its journey, coasting at incredible speeds toward its target, maneuvering in-flight to avoid detection and interception. That combination of velocity and agility makes it incredibly difficult for current defense systems to stop. Why is the ARRW such a big deal? Because it changes the very concept of timing in warfare. A hypersonic missile like this one can strike high-value or time-sensitive targets in mere minutes, potentially from hundreds or even thousands of miles away. Traditional ballistic missiles are fast, sure, but they follow predictable trajectories. Hypersonic glide vehicles, on the other hand, move so fast and change direction so rapidly that tracking and intercepting them becomes a nightmare. For the military, that means strategic superiority. For adversaries, it's a warning shot with serious implications. What sets the AGM-183A apart isn't just speed, it's the way it uses altitude, range, and stealth. Once it separates from the aircraft and begins its glide, the missile travels at the edge of the atmosphere. This unique flight profile helps it evade radar detection and anti-air systems, especially those designed to counter slower moving or predictable threats. The ARRW is equipped with advanced navigation systems that help it steer toward its target with pinpoint precision, even at hypersonic velocity. That's a bit like throwing a dart while skydiving and still hitting the bullseye. One of the key milestones for the ARRW program came when the US Air Force successfully tested it over the Pacific Ocean. Carried aloft by a B-52 bomber, the weapon detached and performed as expected, proving that the technology wasn't just theoretical anymore. That kind of live-fire success gave the program a boost, allowing the military to explore more tactical uses in real-world scenarios. It also sent a clear message to global competitors, the United States is very much in the hypersonic game. But the ARRW's journey hasn't been entirely smooth. As with many cutting-edge technologies, there have been delays, technical hurdles, and budgetary debates. Some test flights didn't go as planned, prompting the Air Force to tweak the design and push for more reliable outcomes. In 2023, reports emerged that the Air Force might shift its focus to other hypersonic programs, yet the ARRW still stands as a key reference point for future weapon designs. Whether or not it enters full-scale production, it's already influenced the development path for other systems, acting as a technological foundation. Another important aspect of the ARRW is its role in global strategy. Countries like Russia and China are also racing to develop hypersonic weapons, and the ARRW is part of America's effort to keep pace and maintain military balance. These weapons aren't just about raw power, they're about deterrence. In other words, the very existence of a missile like the ARRW can discourage enemy nations from taking aggressive steps, knowing the response could be nearly instantaneous and devastating. It's also interesting to consider how technologies developed for military use sometimes spill over into civilian applications. While we're still a long way from hypersonic passenger jets, the materials, navigation algorithms, and aerodynamic designs tested on the ARRW could inspire future innovations in space travel, emergency response, or even global cargo delivery. In the same way that NASA's Apollo program gave us everything from better insulation to improved computer systems, hypersonic research could shape the next generation of transportation. From a purely technical standpoint, the ARRW is a marvel. Imagine a 20-foot-long missile accelerating to Mach 5 in seconds, guiding itself through the atmosphere at extreme altitudes, and hitting a target with surgical precision. All of this while being launched from a plane that itself is over 70 years old, the B-52. 
That synergy between classic airframes and next-gen tech shows how the U.S. military blends legacy hardware with new innovation to stay ahead. As of now, the future of the AGM-183A remains fluid. Some experts believe it may eventually lead to a family of hypersonic weapons with varying ranges and capabilities. Others think it will be remembered more as a stepping stone toward even more advanced systems, like air-breathing hypersonic cruise missiles or orbital strike vehicles. Regardless of what happens next, the ARRW has already reshaped the conversation around what is possible when you mix high-speed, intelligent design, and a clear strategic goal. For viewers of auto MVP reviews who are used to hearing about horsepower, torque, and 0 to 60 mph times, the AGM 183A ARRW offers a different kind of performance benchmark. It's not about driving, it's about delivering results faster than the enemy can react. In the high